Hello my darlings and welcome to another video and also welcome to my new perfume series which is gonna be I'm gonna take you through the journey of fragrance notes and talk to you about some best of the best note particular note fragrances so I really really hope you enjoy it today we are gonna start with tuberose so for all my tuberose lovers or if you want to try out getting into tuberose this video is definitely for you so if you're new here welcome my dear my name is Paulina please don't forget to subscribe Please don't forget to subscribe, let me repeat. <laughs> and also follow me on Instagram because we have a lot of fun there. So guys, I have some very heavy tuberous fragrances, but also actually most quite wearable. So with these fragrances, you don't have to be a particular tuberous lover. If you have to, I'm gonna tell you. In general, this is a um, clean slate when it comes to tuberose based fragrances. Some have more prominent uh, tuberose notes, some way less. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, so in this series before we begin talking about fragrances, I'm gonna tell you more about the particular note that we're gonna talk about. So what is tuberose and how does it smell like? So tuberose, I'll insert a picture right here, is a white floral. It can lean a little bit powdery, a little bit animalic or quite sweet, depending on concentration of the oil in the fragrance. But in general, tuberose has, uh, used to be used um, in many fragrances back in the 70s and 80s. This was a very, very popular note. And that tuberose back in the day was extremely powdery, very, very dusty. Um, I'm sure that you might remember, you know, your grandmas or great grandmas wearing very heavy tuberose powdery fragrances. That was it. I remember it. <laughs> um, so I never really liked tuberose. It really reminded me of that old smell, you know, like dusty, super powdery, not very pleasant. But um, these days, tuberose is a very, very popular note at the moment and um, people, designers and niche fragrances put tuberose so much that we kind of need to talk about it because I've been overwhelmed with tuberose fragrances, to be completely honest with you. So in general, at the moment, tuberose is going for a rebirth and getting a new and new and new twists. So what I have noticed, they either do tuberose in a very spicy way, which I'm gonna get to, or they do tuberose in a very sweet bubblegummy way, or um, it is quite green. So yeah, we're gonna go through that. And also, tuberose is used very, very frequently in those summer scent and lotion scents because um, its smell gives off a vibe of a scent and lotion uh, for some reason, mixed with other notes, of course, but in general, this gives a very much of a summer vibe. So this is the main focus where tuberose is used. So now we can go ahead and jump right in. So starting with more of a scent and lotion smell, summer scent, where tuberose is quite prominent, but it's done very, very creamy, um, blended beautifully, and it's not as prominent. It's definitely not a dusty fragrance. That is Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. And I've had this in my collection for years, way before I realized I actually do like tuberose. Of course, there is another version of this fragrance, which is the Eau de Parfum. Uh, I'm sure it does also contain tuberose, but please Please correct me if I'm wrong. The whole um, vibe of this fragrance is bougie, summer, scent and lotion. This one has some spiciness to it. As I said, um, tuberose goes very, very well with spicy notes. 
And this one is a masterpiece because you get a lot of sweetness, a lot of creaminess, you get some coconut, you get spicy notes, you get some something that smells a little bit like um, cypress, like you know, the, those woods uh, that grow in the northern hemisphere. It really does remind me of those trees that I um, had in the Mante house. So yeah, it is a little bit crisp. But in general, it's a beautiful full, uh, but quite airy, um, creamy scent and lotion fragrance. I really, really love it. This is tuberose done beautifully, not too prominent, not too offensive. Uh, if you are starting with tuberose and if you like those nice summer scents, you have to check it out because this is a beautiful um all year round though really it's not only for summer it's beautiful all year round so check this one out all right another tone four that i need to talk about and this one is definitely on the strong dusty side and that is tom ford orchid soleil so this is tuberose going into sweet direction but they definitely did put a lot of dustiness in there. Uh, that tuberose is very, very strong. Um, it's not green at all. It leans sweet as it dries down because they put a lot of whipped cream note into the fragrance. So it does go sweeter and sweeter, but the initial spray is very, very cloying. Um, a little bit like, you know, old wardrobe, when you open old wardrobe and it's all dusty, this is what I mean. So um, this is not a safe blind buy. You really have to think about if you really want to wear and get this fragrance. I personally left it now in South Africa, but when I was there, I would wear it a lot, but I would mix it. I would mix it with some vanilla fragrances or something way lighter. So yeah, keep that in mind with this one, but the projection and longevity are fantastic. The dustiness goes away. Um, but it's still a very, very heavy tuberose fragrance um, with all that old school shebang that it can't have, you know? So yeah, Orchid Soleil, very good fragrance, but it's quite retro. All right, next one, and that is one of my favorites. This is Mancera Velvet Vanilla. So Velvet Vanilla, you might think, oh, sweet, nice vanilla. No, 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 this is a very, very bubblegummy tuberose in its best super strong fragrance super potent very in your face but extremely extremely girly and feminine which i absolutely love about it you definitely get a strong vanilla dry down yes vanilla is surely there uh, but this tuberose is done to the most bubblegummy version it can have super sweet definitely not dusty very very contemporary of a tuberose scent I love it. I know some people don't, like my mom hates that scent, but yeah, I, I personally absolutely adore it and my boyfriend loves it on me. Very, very sweet, very feminine, but you definitely still get a lot of sophistication out of that fragrance. You know, it's not like your Escada kind of vibe. No, no, no. It is sweet and bubblegummy, but it has a lot of bougie to it, if you know what I mean. So that's Mancera Velvet and Vanilla. I do not have the bottle because I forgot it in South Africa, so my boyfriend has to bring it to me. I see you, please. <laughs> so yeah, that's Velvet Vanilla. All right, guys, next one is a fragrance that I do recommend, I do like, but I kind of expected more from it. But this is definitely a tuberous fragrance. And that is Alien Fusion by Mugler. If you guys don't know already, Alien is like my jam, one of my favorite fragrances on the planet Earth, especially from the designer range. And this one was supposed to be a tuberous, vanilla, spicy fragrance with Alien DNA. What I get from it is mainly um, Alien and some ginger in the beginning and some vanilla in the dry down and like ambery note which is typical for Alien. Uh, but yeah, it's beautifully blended though, but it doesn't project as much as I would want to. It is quite long lasting, I would say seven hours, seven, eight hours. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't project too much. But 
If you are starting with two bros and you like Alien by Mugler, you have to get this. You absolutely have to get this. As much as I would say uh, comparing to the whole range and Alien itself, I'm disappointed. As a scent itself, very good. It's it's really, really good. Um, especially that it's not as offensive. So, you know, uh, if you are just starting out with tuberose or maybe Alien the original is too strong for you, this one will be perfect. And the tuberose is definitely here, but it's, mi it's mixed with Alien and Vanilla. So it's perfect. It's not nasty. It's quite creamy, but it's not sweet at all, I would say. It's not sweet. It's not a sweet tuberose. So... Uh, at least quite oriental. I really, really like this one. And as you can see, I've used a lot. So, you know, it says for itself. Okay, another beautiful tuberose in a red bottle is Rouge Malakit by Armani Privé. And uh, I must say, this is another fragrance that kind of smells like Alien. Uh, this one is definitely more on the spicy herbal side. And of course, there is a lot of tuberose in here. The tuberose is in the top of the fragrance, the middle and the dry down, along with amber. So, you know, you still get that alien vibe, but in a very sophisticated, uh, quite herbally way. Yeah, it is a little bit herbal, definitely on the spicy side. If I'm not mistaken, there's pepper to it and clary sage. So, you know, you, you get those herbally, a little bit coldish, minty vibes. But then you get beautiful white florals and that tuberose is fantastic. Again, it's a very similar tuberose that we had in Alien Fusion, which means blended to perfection, but still quite prominent, not dusty and definitely not sweet. This is another fragrance that's definitely not sweet. So if you're not into those sweet bubblegummy fragrances like Mancera, you will like this, but keep in mind, it has an herbally spicy note. So I don't mind it at all, but my mom, for example, again, she doesn't really like it, but I love it. And the longevity is very good. Uh, projection, I would say it comes from moderate to quite strong. So it, it kind of depends on the day with its projection, to be honest, and the weather, I feel like. It's nice. And it's getting discontinued, so grab a bottle while you still can. I would say if you love Alien, you'll surely love it. Okay, so that's that. Now, uh, we are going into a very white floral prominent of a tuberose. What I mean is that the tuberose here uh, goes into a very um, floral, sweet-ish direction. Um, so that is very good, again, if you're starting out. And I would recommend this fragrance if you love white florals in general. Uh, because here the uh, tuberose is uh, not um, leaning very tuberosey, you know, it's not dusty at all, but again, it's not bubblegummy either. So, you know, it's a beautiful balance of a white floral. So, that is Amouage Love Tuberose. And even though the name would suggest that it is a um, prominent on tuberose of a fragrance, it is, but to me, it's a white floral in general. It's not, it's not just a tuberose that plays main strings in here. And I would say here the tuberose is a little bit more green than in the other fragrances that I've just showed you. This is a little bit of a greener tuberose. Still not dusty at all. It is definitely more feminine, very sophisticated and mature. Uh, you have a beautiful uh, note of a whipped cream in here, you know, just like an Orchid Soleil, but that's another story. Don't even think these fragrances are similar. They're not similar at all. This is, yeah, this is beautiful conjunction of florals and sweet notes, uh, but it's mainly a white floral prominent fragrance, you know. Um, there's not too much to it. It's quite a simple fragrance, but it's beautiful. It's sweeter than the others that I just showed you, uh, and it's definitely more on the floral side, you know? So I really, really love it. The longevity is beautiful. The projection is also beautiful. The price is terrible, but you know, sometimes, 
sometimes you just feel like splurging, right? So if you do, and if you like tuberose, but fragrances in general that lean white floral, you will love this. Okay, now I want to talk about tuberose that is super contemporary, perfect for any age really, and this leans very, very spicy, but in the best way possible, and that is Twilly Delmez. Um, that was one of those first um, tuberose fragrances that took a completely different take on the floral itself. And, you know, it was quite pioneering in the industry when it comes to designer tuberose fragrances. And again, that is dedicated for a young woman, very contemporary vibe, uh, perfect for work, but also perfect for date night. This to me is a all year round fragrance. It's great in summer, but also it's fantastic in winter because of its spiciness. I wouldn't say it's too sweet or too spicy. It's right in the middle and the tuberose, it's quite neutral. You know, it doesn't lean too sweet or too dusty or too green. So it's like, again, right in the middle tuberose with some spicy notes, beautiful fragrance, very, very good projection and lasting power. I used to wear it when I was still in college and uh, I'm really thinking of repurchasing it because I'm really vibing with tuberose now and I remember loving it back then. So I highly, highly recommend um, checking out Twilly Dermes because um, this is one of the best designer tuberose on the market in my personal opinion. Um, and you know, if you like those, you know, contemporary, very modern, spicy fragrances, you're gonna really, really like it, especially that the longevity is great and the bottle is cute. So I might order it right after this video, actually, because I'm really, really feeling I like it. <laughs> so I really recommend Twilly Dermes if you like a little bit of spicy notes in your fragrances. Okay, next one is super safe of a tuberose. This is summer in a bottle, very, very happy, happy fragrance, super, super happy fragrance, but tuberose is still there. Um, so if you are a tuberose lover, you might absolutely adore it. And that is Dolce Shine by Dolce & Gabbana. And if you guys don't know already, I love, love, love Dolce Garden, which is coconut based and French Japani based. This is not as creamy or thick or dense. This is definitely more airy, fruity, happy, just fantastic. If you are into a fruity fragrance, if you like your escadas or something like this, you're gonna love this because this is like a little bit more sophisticated and grown up version of it, you know? So yeah, I'm really vibing in it. So we have a lot of mango in here and that tuberose, which is so, so nice. You know, this is mainly mango and tuberose playing together. Um, to me, this is more of a green tuberose in here, uh, but because of those fruity notes, you definitely get a lot of sweetness out of the perfume. Um, the projection, I would say, is moderate, but the longevity is quite nice, around six to seven hours. So it's not bad for a um, fruity fragrance. Yeah, I really, really like it. If you want a very happy tuberose, you're gonna love this one. Okay. Another one, guys, that I've already said I'm gonna get, um, and I did order it, but I'm still waiting for it to arrive, and I think it's been a month. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know what got into me. Like, I ordered from a website abroad, and that was not a good idea. Not a good idea. Anyways, uh, I have a sample, f f like, thankfully, and that is Armani My Way. So this is another uh, bubble gummy tuberose, but this one is not as sweet as Mancera Velvet Vanilla. Uh, this is uh, a little bit woody in the dry down, and to me it leans definitely more floral and citrus in the beginning. I really like this combination. Uh, this is quite fresh, but still sweet and feminine. So. If you are looking for a nice day-to-day -day fragrance, something good for work, but also for dates, being out and about, or just for yourself when you're walking around the house, this is a great all-rounder. I don't think you can really go wrong with this if you like um, tuberose fragrances that are a little bit sweeter. 
But yeah, as I said, the, the dry down is quite woody and vanilla, which I am dying for. So good, so good. From designer, I really like it. Um, the longevity is nice, projection also is quite good. So I think it's worth the money and I think you're gonna love it. I really think you're gonna love it. If you are watching this video, you probably do like Shiburo, so yeah. But this one is definitely more on the bubblegummy um, vibe, you know? So. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about something that I am so obsessed with. Like you have no idea, guys. You have no idea how much I love this fragrance. So recently I've been testing out a lot of new brands that I haven't tested ever. And um, Memo Paris that just stole my heart. And I've gotten so many samples of the same fragrances that I, you know, liked. And I'm really saving up to get the whole range because I'm just obsessed. I'm just obsessed. And to me, this is one of the best, best tuberos ever made. Ever made. And that is Memo Marfa. So Marfa, if you don't know, I'm actually is Marfa. Marfa. <laughs> uh, it's actually a city in United States and it's very hot and the fragrance is also hot. <sighs> I can't. This is so good guys. This is so, so good. I cannot believe so little people talk about it like almost no one i i tried to find some reviews on memo paris but there is really not many so i just you know had to buy all the little testers to to see what i actually like and god this is so good this is not dusty this is a little bit green but not too green a little bit sweet but not too sweet a little bit floral but not too floral actually it's quite unisex for a tuberose i mean i wouldn't really see it on a man but you might be surprised what actually works on men because there are fragrances that my boyfriend started wearing and to me they were like super feminine and i was like damn this actually works on you so this might be another thing like that you know but oh, Marfa is to die for, to die for, and I just cannot even describe with words how it actually smells. Like, it has some dustiness, but not too much. It just makes the perfume like very hot, like hot and heavy. It's so good for summer, I feel like, and hotter months. But it's dense at the same time enough to be worn in colder months as well. I love it. I just love it so much. It's definitely not bubblegummy. Um, I would say it's kind of like Orchid Soleil but in the very dry down when it comes to the dustiness. So it's, you know, it's like a slight tinge of that dusty tuberose. But then throughout the fragrance, it actually leans green as well, if it makes any sense. And the other notes that are in there make the fragrance even denser and sweeter. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. So with Marfa, you not only get tuberose, of course, you get Neroli, you get Ylang Ylang, and you get vanilla and woody notes in the very dry down, and also some white musk. So, you know, it dries down quite woody sweet, but the tuberose you get throughout the whole fragrance with that Neroli. I personally absolutely adore the combination of Neroli or Orange Blossom and tuberose together. I love it. And Marfa is done to perfection. It's blended so well. It's so long lasting. It projects beautifully. I am just in love with Marfa. I went through, guys, like in a week, in a week. I went through, I think, five tester bottles, which is insane, absolutely insane. So I'm really, really swearing by this fragrance and this is definitely next on my to-buy list 
because I am in love. Um, actually, there are fragrances that I am even more in love from Memo Paris range, but I'll talk about it in the next video. But Marfa, perfecto, perfecto. Just beautiful. <laughs> so, um, of course, there are so many other tuberose fragrances like L'Interdit by Givenchy, but I just personally don't really love it. Uh, and we also have Gucci Bloom by Gucci, which is very, very popular. But I've showed you so many similar um, perfumes to Gucci Bloom, which is a very uh, bubblegummy but fresh green tuberose that, you know, you can see for yourself and maybe try something that I have listed here. But also, uh, because I'm, I'm telling you that because I'm gonna get comments. So when it comes to Gucci Bloom, I really, really like it. Um, but if I were to choose, I would choose Armani My Way, for example. You know what I mean? So that's why it's like an honorable, honorable mention, but it's not really on my list. And with Givenchy L'Interdit, I just don't really love it. You know, it happens. Okay, guys, I really, really hope you liked the video and it was helpful for you. And also you can comment down below what other notes, series, you would like to see so if you are interested in a certain note in a perfume so yeah comment down below guys what perfume note you would like to see next i can tell you straight away that tonka and orange blossom and neroli are coming up uh, but other than that please let me know down below what other perfume notes you would like to see the video about and I really hope you enjoyed it. You, I really hope you found it helpful. Please also let me know. I would love to get feedback from you. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.